Hi everyone, this is Deborah. Today we're going to talk about how I always ran away from my problems. And, um, I guess, um, yeah, I always ran away from my problems. <clears throat> That guy's a little late if he had an 8 o'clock appointment. Yeah, every time I got in an argument with my ex, I would run to a hotel. I stayed in every hotel in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Thousands and thousands of dollars. What I should have done is sit his ass down and kick his ass. No, I should have kicked his ass before I sat him down. Ha! If I knew then what I know now, I would have kicked his ass. I would have not have run. I would have not ran away. I would have confronted it head on. Oh yeah. Never let anyone feel make you feel less than or intimidated. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Mm hmm. I was just so god dang scared. I wanted just to get away. I wanted it to go away. And I would sedate myself with a Valium or, or um, Xanax. But that doesn't do anything. It just delays your problem. So people don't run away. You confront it head on. The person who's making your life god dang miserable, you sit their ass down and you tell them the way it's going to be. And if they do not comply or understand or even give you the time of day, then you need to make plans to leave that relationship. Now, here's, here's a f food for thought. If you know that your spouse is fooling around or is not what you think he is or she is, don't let them know what you found out because you need that time to prepare. You need at least six months to a year. Do not tip them off. Yeah. Do not let, do not tip them off because then they'll have their own strategy and it may not be to your benefit so you're ahead of the game if you don't tip them off. And I know it's going to be hard to say, oh, I know what you did. Yeah, do not do that. You need just to put it on a back shelf and prepare for all the things you're going to have to prepare for if you're going to leave the relationship. Because people will hide assets. People may get into a, another relationship immediately if they know you're going to leave. Don't tip them off. Start saving money. Start preparing. That way you're ahead of the game. That was a big mistake I made. I moved away to my summer home and gave him all this opportunity to hook up with other women. And my brother warned me, he, he goes, don't do that. But well, I didn't want to be around him, but yeah, my brother was right. My brother's right about a lot of things because he's a boy or a man. But him and I have we come to an understanding. We're getting along much better. We have these little talks every, almost every night. Um, yeah. And we both sometimes feel like we've given people 40 years of our lives for what? Right? That just sucks when you give somebody four decades of your life and you have nothing to show for it. Mm hmm
so I'm going to get ready to go in. Please, everybody, cross your fingers that I can get at least two of these things addressed today. And then <clears throat> i got to get my windshield replaced. So I'm probably going to drop $1,000 today. I should just freaking trade in the car. But I've only got 100,000 miles on it. I mean, shouldn't a Cadillac go for a couple hundred? I know four trucks. I know people who have four trucks. That they're going, the odometer's rolled over three times. <laughs> yeah. So... So, a lot of you all have been so kind to me. A lot of you all are so understanding, and it makes me cry to know that a lot of my subscribers are standing behind me. Um, a lot of a lot of you all say I'm just in a in a bad place because I don't have my own home. Well, this is what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll find somebody who wants me in their life and I don't have to buy a home. I can just live in their home. See, that's that's my hesitancy here. Um, because then you gotta go through the whole thing of moving that furniture, then moving it out, selling the stuff. <clears throat> because when my spouse got married, she moved all her furniture into our office that I helped build. And um, she had to sell her house, I guess. I've never met her. My spouse wanted me to meet her. and No, I don't want to meet her. It's the last thing I want to do. I wish her well, but God, she's going to need it. So my daughter is in dire straits again, and I can't help her. I've 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 closed the door. I can't help anybody who's not willing to help themselves. Uh huh. I got. She sleeps till noon. When I was there in Key West, I was telling her, "Get up and diversify your portfolio." learn how to make money online which she does have a little business online but she's not promoting it as much as she should hardly at all and if you don't promote your business how's anybody going to know about you right the i have owned my own dress shop and i would do full eight and a half by eleven page ads uh, at least once a month, if not once a week. And when I owned the tree company, I would put ads in constantly. So you got to be in front of the general public. You know? Mm -hmm. All right, enough about that. Bye.